Hello, have you ever heard of something like this? Yeah, I bet you have. Well, that's an effect called the cut effect in virtual DJ. The cut effect is a popular audio effect used to simulate rhythmic volume cutting or gating, commonly used by DJs to add a stutter-like or choppy feel to the track. It's especially useful in hip-hop or scratch style DJing. So we are going to break these tutorials into steps so that you can understand every step and know what to do using this effect called the cut. So first things first, we need to open the virtual DJ, double click on this. So the second step is to locate the cut effect here on virtual DJ. So for you to locate it, head over to the effects six on here, where this table is or where these slots are like these three slots you can see here click on the drop down arrow here and then a list of effects will appear here so what you're going to do is to look for an effect called the cut yes this one here click on it and then it will be selected to this slot here so to use this cut effect what you are going to do is to load a track on any of the deck where you have selected the effect and then you play the track and then you click on this slot here which activates the cut effect and then you will hear the output will be affected by this effect called the cut so this is how it will affect your track So for you to get more interesting cut effect output, you need to adjust the parameters. So to adjust the parameters, click on this plus button here, and then a small window will open at the right down corner of your screen. And then you will see something like strength, length, and then the stereo, okay? These are the parameters that we are going to trigger. For the strength, it is how hard the cut effect affect the track that you're playing okay so you can choose to put the cut effect to a lower strength so that the cut will not affect your track too much when you trigger it on or when you activate it so for me i like keeping it at a hundred percent because i like it when it cuts the track very hard okay so for the length you can adjust the length to 1 out of 16 bits and then you can adjust it to 1 out of 8 bits or you can adjust it to 1 out of 4 bits and then 1 out of 2 bits 1 bit 2 bits 4 bits that is the highest it can go to okay but for me i use three lens which is the 1 out of 4 bit here and then the one out of two bit and then the one bit here so those are the three you can use so let us test the one out of four here this is how it sounds when you put the length to one out of four bit And then this is how it will sound when you adjust the length to half beat. And then lastly, this is how it sounds when you put it to one beat. Those are the parameters that you can use. I recommend those three. The one out of four, 
the one out of two and then the one bit itself okay so the next step that we are going to take here is to map the cut effect to our keyboard okay you know because for us we don't have the controllers we use only our keyboard to dj here on virtual dj so for you to map the cut effect to your keyboard head over to the settings section here click on it and then go to controllers advanced editor so here what you will do is to select any key on the keyboard that you feel is better for you to trigger the cut effect okay once you click in the box here choose any key on the keyboard that you want to use for the effect okay for me i'll choose this key here and then in the action box what you have to insert or put in there is this effect space open colon cut close colon space active okay so after setting this click on the save button here and then close this window that is how you map and use the cut effect on virtual dj see you in the next one